This is my homemade coin operated miniature printer. When a coin is inserted into a slot at the top, it prints a small section of heat activated receipt paper on a film printer, then cuts the printed strip off. The strip of paper falls into a cloth bag glued behind a slot cut into the front of the machine. You can reach through the slot and take out the paper. I bought the thermal printer without knowing exactly what I wanted to do with it, but I was disappointed to find out that it was difficult to tear off the printed section of paper without pulling the printer open. It certainly wasn't easy enough to use to let random people use it if I put the printer in a project that would be used by the public. That's why I started to plan a machine that would cut the paper off, then let it fall down somewhere that it could be safely taken by anybody, no matter how clumsy they were, without putting themselves or my machine in danger. Once I had that idea, it was trivial to connect a coin-operated switch that would trigger the whole process. Several attempts to build a paper cutting mechanism. The first used scissors, but this was bulky and unreliable and it wouldn't fit into the box which I'd chosen to house the project uh, which is actually one of my girlfriend's sculptures from several years ago. What I settled on uses a Stanley knife blade running on a little sled that moves along uh, aluminium extrusion using these uh, little miniature bearings. It's kind of like a little linear slide from a CNC machine. The paper passes between these two strips of lino which are mounted loosely on top of one another. After the printer's finished printing and the machine needs to cut off a section of paper, first of all this little servo here presses down um, and presses the two pieces of lino together which hold the, uh, the paper securely in place. Uh, obviously the blade would be here. Um, there's another servo there which presses this whole linear slide down. Uh, it's actually mounted on a pivot back there. So when that servo presses down, the, uh, the blade is obviously pressed down into the lino. Um, and when this servo um, rotates this wheel, it pulls, the, uh, it pulls this cable tie, which pulls the blade across the lino and through across where the paper is being held um, and because of that pressure there it slices through the paper so that would look like that and then hopefully if everything went well the, the section of paper after the blade would just fall down into that hopper there formed by this material and it could be retrieved by the, through that slot which goes to the front of the machine. Um, and then the blade obviously needs to reset itself. So these two servos lift back up. So the lino is kind of loose again. So when the, pa the, uh, when the printer is going to feed more paper, it can push the paper through unobstructed. Um, and once the linear slide is lifted up, the blade can return without sticking on anything to the to the initial position. The coin chute is uh, is a little simpler. It's just consisting of uh, these layers of hardboard. The middle layer has a slot cut in it, um, which is just big enough for a pound coin. So the coin can pass through that sandwich of hardboard and into this. Uh, kind of crude coin collector here. There's just a little slot at the top there. Um, and the coin switch itself is an optical switch um, which is formed just from a light dependent resistor like that uh, and an LED. So when the coin passes down the chute there it obviously shades the uh, LDR from the light from the LED um, and that's just plugged into an analog pin on the Arduino so I could just set, set a, a threshold for the shadow uh, so I could be pretty sure that a coin's gone through the slot obviously anything 
some coins which are smaller than a pound or any object at all really could trigger that but I'm not that bothered if I really wanted to make an elaborate coin switch I would uh, maybe weigh the coins or something like that but it's really not worth it uh, this is kind of just a fun project that I don't want to seem like I'm fleecing people for using it I've decided what the final use for this project is going to be um, which is why just for the purpose of this video I made it print out the time which of course is totally useless uh, intentionally so because just a second after the time's printed it's wrong uh, I just kind of found that amusing but probably what I will do eventually is attempt to connect this uh, camera that I bought specially to interface with the Arduino um, obviously it's not very high resolution but what I can probably do is take a bitmap well convert the image from that camera into a bitmap and then print it on the printer I know the printer is capable of printing bitmaps so that could be kind of interesting and so this would become kind of like a little coin operated photo booth so uh, I hope you found that interesting this isn't like uh, some of my other videos which uh, are kind of more straightforward instructional videos um, I didn't really build this very neatly I don't expect people to go out and try to build this thing exactly how I did but this was just me trying to solve a problem as I saw it with this thermal printer which seems to be pretty ubiquitous across uh, the internet, eBay etc which is that it's pretty hard for people to retrieve a printed receipt or, or whatever it is you're you're making uh, without the front of the printer coming off um, I mean I know you can kind of tear it in a particular way and it will come off okay but that that's not the experience that people have using a checkout or whatever uh, at the shops you don't have to be careful with the, the receipt printers there so yeah you can see I used a load of hot glue um, chopsticks uh, random bits of things that I had lying around my workshop to build this just because I wanted to do it quickly uh, and just show it could be done I'm sure that someone else would come up with a really neat version uh, maybe package it up a bit better as well anyway I hope you found this video interesting if you did press the like button subscribe maybe leave a comment